Hi everyone, how are you doing? Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, can you tell I'm excited? I'm a little excited y'all, just a little bit. So I'm going to lower you down. Good job, I'm great <laughs> tonight. I, I feel so excited. So basically y'all, this is tonight's uh, wreath and this is the sign. And the sign is by uh, Iveth. Uh, at Wood Art Studios, and she captures eyes that are unbelievable. And this has always been one of my favorite signs. So I had this one from last year, and so I said, I'm going to do it tonight. So let's get started, okay? And uh, now what we're going to do tonight is we are going to do, I'm going to use this uh, snowball mesh, okay, uh, and we're going to use this tonight, and I love snowball, and what we're going to do is the poof method first, and then after we do the poof method, I went ahead and I pre-ruffled some of my cruffles, so we're going to do the cruffle method, okay. All right, let me get all this out my way, and by the way, y'all, I think, by remarkable, I don't want to put the gree, gree on me, I think my internet is working halfway decent, I am so excited, new internet, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and bring the insides in like this, just like this, and now what I did do, I made my own wreath frame, and uh, I went on the crossbars right here, one on each crossbar, like so, and then in the center ring, I centered it between the two crossbars and I did it this way. Now tonight I'm not sure, we're going to see how it looks, I'm not sure if I'm just going to put the hot pink or the fuchsia, whatever you want to call it, in the center portion or do it on, uh, we'll play it by ear. So I don't always have, I change things as I go, so whatever looks best, okay? Oh, that's my sweet Linda. How are you doing, girl? I've missed you so much. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... I'm going to go a little bit bigger because this is a big sign. I'm going to be doing about a ten and a half inch puff. Okay? Now this is pretty thick, so I'm going to go ahead... Uh, okay... There you go. And you just kind of pull it out like so. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go back to my tin. So, because this is pretty thick uh, mesh. I don't want to make it. Okay, 10 inch. Like so. That's all you need. You just need the 10. You don't need the 10 and a half. So, we're going with a 10 inch puff. And I start on the inside of the ring first. That's where I start. All right. And uh, go to the very next one on the crossbar. And you're just going to keep going around like this. And sometimes you don't do it right, just like me, you see? So. Well, tonight, y'all, it's going to get very cold here in Louisiana. Um, I don't do well in cold, uh, but that's okay. I'll keep warm. My hubby will keep me warm tonight. He says I'm like, I don't understand it. I freeze to death, and he says I'm like an oven at night, so who knows? That's when I go to bed if I don't fall asleep in my chair. Oh, it drives him nuts, y'all, because I'm a night owl, y'all, and he goes to bed at a decent hour. I don't, and what happens, I, uh, 
I decide I'm just going to take my time and go to bed and then I fall asleep with my glasses on. Usually, that, believe it or not, and my iPad on because I, I, I turn the TV off at night, late at night. I don't listen to all that hullabaloo late at night. I usually turn the TV off and I do a couple of my social media stuff on, uh, on Facebook and stuff like that and uh, I do find uh, some of my people that I'm online with at night. So, I have been doing a little shopping online just to see what's out there, what's uh, coming up for the spring, and it seems like some of the places that I shop at, uh, Craft Outlet is starting to get a lot of their spring and s summer stuff in, and uh, basically, uh, this is where I did get this mesh from, was from Craft Outlet. Now, what I'm do here is I'm going to cross over. I'm coming to the end right here, as you see. But I am going to cross over right here and go to the furthest outside of the wreath. I call this the inside, and I call this the outside. Okay, the outside of the wreath. Okay, I'm going to tie it off here and keep going until I go completely around. One more time, all the way around, okay? I did go by, I'm not a big, big Dollar Tree fan, but the one thing I do like at Dollar Tree is I do on occasion buy their um, deco tubing. They had nothing at my store as far as deco tubing. They didn't even have deco tubing for um, Valentine's Day and they didn't have any for um, you know for St. Patrick's Day but I mean I had that for Christmas you know so I was I was good for that but as far as the spring deco tubing they didn't have it uh, any spring out really whatsoever. They had a couple little Easter things like for instance uh, they had some eggs out and uh, but not much out really. But um, other than that not much. Every once in a while I mean oh I did go to Kirkland's. Oh my daughter is going to be so excited. I bought something from Kirkland's to make her an arrangement uh, for her uh, kitchen counter for the summer. And they were on sale. There were these uh, glass jars. And I know exactly what I want to put in it. And it will be so nice. So I bought her. It was, they were marked 50% off. And they are gorgeous. They still may have them off. They are these beautiful glass jars big vase jars like and they were I mean and they were 50% off so I paid ten dollars you cannot beat that and that was at Kirkland's let me see I think I have one of them here well this is one of them right here let me show it to y'all but I thought this is so cute and to fill it with uh or decorate it or do whatever you want and put it on your kitchen counter with a nice bow. I think it'll look really nice. So, y'all, these were 10 bucks. That's it. $10. You cannot beat that. And you can take the jar out. You don't have to use that metal stand. The metal stand came with it. But isn't that a nice jar? It'd be nice to put lemons in and stuff like that. So, if y'all have a Kirkland's near you, you may want to go in and check it out. Very nice jar. Now that I, well, let me tell you a little bit. Uh, now that I have my camera working, I will be doing my lives on 
uh, on my YouTube channel as well. And now that I have my new internet as well, so I am really, y'all, y'all have no idea. I am so excited about this internet. Y'all have no idea. No idea. Okay, now. Now you have an option of doing one or the other. I can either tie it off here, which I think I might do. I think I'm going to cut it and tie it off, and then I can go through and just do the center. I think that's what I'm going to do. Everybody has their own way of doing things, or we could do it this way. It's just that I, I like to cut it off. Let me cut it off. So I'm going to cut it off. Doesn't really... Put that over my lap. Bring it under. And tie it off here. And what I'll do is afterwards, I'll come in underneath and I'll show you what I do with a zip tie. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the center. I prefer just going in the center. And uh, let me zip tie this together. This and this. I'm going to bring this and stick it under right here. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Stick it under right here. Just like so. Take a zip tie. I'm going to zip tie it to the frame, like so. Because I want to ensure that with the customer that this doesn't slip. This is thick mesh, and, you know, I just want to be a little extra precautionary when it comes to the customer. And I always make sure that, that everything is well secured. Okay, do this a snip there. Okay, cut that off right here. Okay, there you go. Now, let's go, and we're going to go down the middle one. Just kind of straighten this up so I have it nice and neat. A little OCD here, gang. Can't stand rough edges. Okay, there you go. Okay. Round like so. And so that it's not so bulky in one area, I kind of go to the next one. And I'm going to start it here, tuck it under, and twist. Okay. And the same method through the center ones. Okay. You know, it's amazing. You can watch several different people do their wreaths, and everybody has their own take on how to do a wreath. It's just that it's something that, I guess, over time that you start playing with and changing up and seeing what you want to change and do. And everybody has their own technique of doing things. I'm sorry, I'm not even paying attention. Okie doke. Alright, so. I'm sure this is going to be nice and full and fluffy and 
You want the best possible looking wreath for your customer. You want to go way and above. I know that when I, I won't send it out if it's not right, and I'm not going to. Um, it's just not going to happen. Okay. So, we were pretty pumped about our LSU Tigers here, y'all. They won. We were so proud of them. So very proud. We had an awesome coach and an awesome quarterback. Very proud of our boys, as we call them. A little disappointed that our boys with the Saints didn't make it, but that's all right. There's always another year. Always another year, gang. I tell you, I, my grandchildren, I don't know how in the world they know what they know about the computers today. My grandson, boom, boom, boom. And I said, he was going through, I said, Andrew, Mama can't do it herself. You don't understand. You got to go slow. Mama's got to write it down until I learn how to do this. So, and still, <laughs> are you ready for this? I was FaceTiming him right before I connected because I tried going, uh, doing it myself. And guess what? I still didn't do it right. So we FaceTimed. There was one step I missed, so I didn't do too bad. I can't complain. I didn't do too bad. Okay. Go on through, and we'll tie this one off. All right. It's nice and full. Looks like a big old snow cloud, doesn't it? Okay. Alright, let me get that underneath. Don't want that showing through. Pull it through like so. Yep. Okay. And I'll tie it off. But I don't want my on here. All right, there you go. Just want to tie it off and make sure it's nice and my hands aren't that strong, y'all. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now. Now, what we got to make a choice of, of what do y'all think? Do you think, should we just go with the cruffle? Let me just show you real quick. We can either go with the cruffle right here and let some of the white show. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I just want to go with the cruffle there. So let me show you what I did with the cruffle. What I call the cruffle, okay? All right. What I did, let me move this out the way so that you can see and I'll undo it. I rolled it about three or four times like so on each end. And then I went in and I ruffled it. So this is the cruffle method. And uh, to save time, I went ahead and I did it for y'all. Okay, there you go. And it sort of gives it the roll look, but yet a ruffle look as well. And I kind of like it. And the reason I went with the fuchsia is because it has a little fuchsia in the hat on the rabbit. And um, we're going to use the blue in the ribbons. So what you're going to do when you're making your wreath, you're going to pull out the colors that are in your sign. And... Um, that's basically what I've done. I've pulled out the colors in my sign. Okay. 
this is going to be really cute because I've got, let me show you the deco tubing we're going to use. Look at that luscious deco tubing. Oh, to die for. Okay. I'm really loving this, y'all. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, the mesh I cut at 24 inches. Uh, the it, And it's 10-inch mesh cut at 24 inches. Okay. And I'm using the cropple on the 10-inch mesh. It is the 21 inch mesh I used on the poof method. So, 10 inch mesh on the cropple, cut it 24 inches, and the poof method, 21 inch mesh, with approximately 10 inches per poof. How's that? Okay. There you go. All righty. I cut more than I needed. I just wasn't sure what I was going to go with. So I decided I'd make up my mind, go ahead and cut what I thought I may do or may not do. So, okay. There you go. Now, my ribbons, I cut at 14 inches. Okay. I cut my ribbons at 14 inches. And I have two ribbons that are two and a half and two that are one and a half. So, and let me show you what I have here. Okay. So, now what we're going to do, we are going to go start on the inside. And I have this here. I went with the bunny ears in the grass with the blue sky. Okay, let me move this out the, and move it here. Can you see if I move up? Yeah, you can see. Good. Okay, so I'm going to take it in the center and I'm going to pinch, pinch, pinch. I'm going to make a bird like this and then I'm going to go to the inside right here. Okay. And I'm going to twist. One, two, three. And one of the things that you want to do is make sure that your ribbons are in the right direction because I want them to go this way so that you can see the ears. Okay. There you go. Alrighty. Okay. And this I went with the Harlequin. Fold it in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to go every other one, just like so. Now, I do have some eggs we may put in here as well. I knew, let me explain what I did do. Knowing that this was going to be a full, because of the mesh being as thick as it is and the puffs as big as they are, I knew that I wanted my ribbons to be at least 14 inches because I did not want my ribbons to be lost in this mesh. 
Uh, so I cut it, that's why I cut them at 14 inches. Normally I cut my ribbons anywhere between 12 to 14 inches, depending upon uh, how thick the mesh is and, um, and how much of the mesh I want to, uh, to show. So cut one or two ribbons after you get the mesh on until you get to sort of know what your mesh is like and just kind of see just do test of uh, different sizes on some cheap ribbon and uh, put it on your different types of mesh once you start out and then that will sort of tell you um, it'll sort of help you determine what size um, <coughs> excuse me what size um, you want to cut your ribbon and these are all cut at 14 inches so my ribbons are cut at 14 inches and just to update you my 10 inch mesh is cut at 24 inches and I use the poof method with the 10 inch poofs okay so uh, y'all Katie is one of my mentors along I'm sure y'all saw Brenda on here earlier she was one of is one of my mentors as well and of course my dear sweet Linda Hobby and uh, and my praises have got to go Thanks to my good old Lori Jacobs Riley, because I would not be on this camera tonight if it was not for her training, okay? I would definitely not be on it. Uh, Lori's success path, uh, she uh, has taught me so much, y'all. I am not kidding. She is my technical uh guru how's that she is a technical guru when it comes to business coaching and things like that i am so excited y'all this old lady is coming around you know how they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks well guess what yes you can okay Oh, I love my little rabbit ears. Okie doke. Fold it and get it in the center and crunch, crunch, crunch. All right. I made a big, luscious bow for this wreath, y'all, tonight. Okay. Well, let me find. Okay, here's this one. Find the other one. Okay, there it is. Okie dokie. And y'all, my lighting, thanks to my hubby, he put another light up here. And uh, so I think it's pretty bright, and y'all can see pretty well tonight. So. Alrighty. There. Okay, now let's go to the outer ring. And what I will we'll do here, if I don't quit dropping them all, we are going to go and uh, we'll go opposite over here. And let me kick this over so you can kind of see. Okay. Alrighty. righty. 
Oops, I lost some of my. I guess I wouldn't. I lost my scroll, and oh, there I am. Okay. For those that are coming on note new, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you would like to, I would appreciate it if you would like and follow my page. I would appreciate it. I am also on YouTube. I have two videos up there right now, and I have to admit, y'all, the videos are not that great. And the reason they were not that great is because I did not have my new internet like I have now. So, but I will be putting this one on the internet, uh, YouTube, uh, coming up. So I'm excited. Okay, so for, for those that are just coming on, the ribbons are cut at 14 inches, dovetailed. And I got to get down and get this. I dropped them. Never fails. Oh, okie doke. Ooh, tonight my hubby made me a good supper. Well, I, let's see. Uh, we ate fresh cauliflower. We had steak. And we had my son-in-law's uh, scallop potatoes. And uh, I think they, I guess they were scalloped or twice baked. I'm not sure what they were, but they were good. What can I say? They were good. And that's what we had tonight. And he, then he brought me a cookie for dessert. But I'm so full, there's no way I can eat a cookie. No way, Jose. And these, let me put those over there. Okay. I was so busy in my workshop today getting everything to organized and that um, and cleaned up. I just, last week, I just was not with it, gang. I don't know why I wasn't feeling good, but I feel better now, and uh, I've got my room the way I want it, almost. I just have a few honeydews for my honey to finish doing, and uh, do that. Okay, I just have a few more, y'all, and we'll and then we'll put on the uh, the deco tubing, which will really make this come to life. Okay. Have y'all tried the new king cakes that are out? In our area, I don't know if y'all ever heard of a Gentilly cake, but in our area, uh, one of our grocery stores makes what is known as a Gentilly cake. And what it is, is like a, it's really like whipped cream, but a frosting that they use. And they put fresh berries, strawberries, blueberries, into the cream for the inside filling. Oh, y'all, it is to die for. Well, guess what they've come out with? They have come out with a Gentilly King Cake. I cannot wait to try it. It's basically a King Cake. King Cake is a Mardi Gras cake that we have in our area during Mardi Gras. 
and they put usually put a little plastic baby doll in there and it started out years ago for Mardi Gras that right after the 12th night you would start the Mardi Gras parties and whoever got the baby had to throw the next party the next weekend so basically um, but it's been a tradition that's been carried on for years and now they still put the king the babies in the king cakes and it used to be before they put these babies in it used to be uh they used to put a bean in it just a some type of a bean years ago all right i cut way too many tails that's par for the cost okay now this is what we're going to do with the deco tubing let me show you i wanted to kind of spruce it up with a little of this, I thought that this was really pretty deco tubing. And I think I had gotten this last year. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's see if they have to be bigger. No? Nope. Okay, so let me get about an average length that you're going to need. Uh, let's go. 36 and 34. I mean, okay, we're going to go wait, 36 and then let me add 10 more to it. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit more. Let's go right here. Alright. Let's see. Let me give you the exact measurements, y'all, so that you have it. I have 30, uh, I got about 46 inches, okay? One, two, three, four, and that's too big, okay, one, May have to cut a little bit aisles, a little bit more off, but that's okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right. I think that's gonna look nice. One, two, three. All right. This adds. Yes, I like that. I may have to make that one smaller. We'll see. I think we're going to go a little bit smaller. One, two, three. Yeah, I think we need to go a little bit smaller. I'll trim that one down afterwards. Yeah. No, it's about the same. I just like the colors in here. I just it's gonna make that sign really pop, y'all. So that you can see. Okay, just like this. And I'm putting them inside the pink ones, like so. One. Now, I usually twist my ties before I cut them three times, y'all. Because I don't want these ties coming apart. And stuff falling out of the wreath, okay? Okay, one two, three, four. If you will, I would appreciate it. Like and follow my page. And if you would, if you have some friends that you think would like to see this video, please share. I would very much appreciate it. And, okay, and please follow, subscribe to my page. I would appreciate it.
sticking out just a little too far. Okay, turn this around. I do deco exchange. I do um, craft outlet. I do have a couple of wholesale companies I shop at. Um, and uh, matter of fact, I have quite a few wholesale places I shop at. Um, I also uh, shop in Baton Rouge. Let me fix this. At uh, in Baton Rouge, for those that are local in our area, we have uh, silks and crafts in the flower basket. If you're ever in the Baton Rouge area, they have beautiful stuff. Okay. I'm sure you could order and they'd be willing to ship out, but it's... Uh, they really, you have to kind of go in and see what, what they have. They really don't have websites. I don't think they do. Um, okay, now, we've got that taken care of. Now, for the sign. Here is my sign. Okay, right here. How is that? Y'all, this is perfect. I am so excited. This uh, deco tubing just adds to it. So let's go ahead and get our sign put on. And uh, let me show you the bow that's going to go with it. I am so excited. Look at this bow, y'all. Look at this. I think this is awesome. It is going to be awesome. I'm so, I tell you, I am very excited about this wreath, y'all. I really, it's, I have to think it's one of my favorites. I don't know if my daughter has an Easter wreath or not, but this is going on my Etsy shop, Sarah. My daughter seems to snag a lot of wreaths. Huh. Oh, I have a special sign being made for my grandson, y'all. He's graduating from high school this year. So I asked a dear friend of mine if she would make a sign for me for graduation. And she is, so I am so excited. So, he will have his um, graduation sign going up, wreath going up. Oh, and by the way, my grandson leaves tomorrow for Washington, D.C. They have the, uh, the uh, Right to Life march that uh, a lot of the youths do today. And uh, he did it last year, and he's going again this year. I just hope it's not cold. Last year it was very cold in Washington, D.C. when he went. Okay. You know, just when you get it through, you feel it slip right out of your hand. Okay, got it through. Hey, Roxanne, how are you doing, girl? Hey, Joanne. Yeah, I can back my camera off. How's that? Oh, you want me to come up? Okay. Yeah, let me come up. How's that? Let me tighten it up. I'm sorry. How's that? Is that better? Or you still want me to come up some more? I can come up some more. Okay, let me come up. Let me make it higher. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I hope I'm not making you sick. There you go. How's that? Is that better? How's that? Okay. Good. <laughs> That's cute, <laughs> Roxanne. All right. There you go. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. That's cute. All okay, let me get it through this mesh. You want to get these pipe cleaners through the mesh, y'all. It just kind of adds more stability to the sign. Now if I can find the other one. Here it is. Okay. Bring it through. Ooh, is that tight? You know, it's funny. You get to working with these wreaths, and it gets warm, y'all, under these lights. All right, I'm going to come back to that one. Let me get this one. You know, it's one of those things when you don't succeed, come back and try, and I'm going to come back and try the other one. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. And, yeah, I got it. This one, and then this. Okay. Ah! Okay, there you go. And it came right back out oh. just when things okay not this got it okay you know what y'all I think I'm gonna have to extend it let me get another I think they're too short let me see green white yeah I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it a little bit longer. I'm just fighting with it too much. It's not even worth fighting with. So basically all I'm going to do is add an extension. Come around. Make it nice and tight. So it doesn't come loose. Sometimes, y'all, when the mesh is this thick, you can't get through it. And so instead of fighting with it, it's best just to add a piece because I was trying to, I didn't want to smash the mesh. Okay, got it. Whew, didn't think I'd get, ever get through that. All righty. There you go, I got it. Y'all have been throwing out some recipes on my uh, page, uh, my personal page. Oh, Lord, I have been throwing out the recipes. I love recipes. I'm terrible. Although I don't like to cook anymore. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I used to cook all the time. But I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not in the mood for eating. So I don't cook anymore. So oh, I got a little string here. Stand strings. Okay, there you go. Bring this through here. And I'm gonna have to do the same. Let me get another one. I'm just not gonna fight with it, Yang. No way. I'm not gonna fight with uh Pour over a pipe cleaner. Okay, there you go. Okay. Y'all, I'm loving this wreath. I tell you. I have got some cute ideas coming up for spring. I tell you what. I have got the cutest 
um, idea for a sign. I went to um, Hobby Lobby, and they have a lot of their spring out. Believe it or not, they have their spring out, but they do not have their Easter out yet here. So, uh, but they I guess they got their spring out first, and they have some nice spring. But do you know what I was really surprised with? Guess what Hobby Lobby's starting to carry? They're going to start carrying, um, like, small little appliances. I was a little surprised when I saw that in the store when I went in. They're kind of changing it up. I hope they don't change it up too much. Okay. There you go. Got this one in. Okie doke. Alright, I'll straighten the ribbons, but before I go back and I'll straighten the ribbons and all of that out, uh, let me go ahead and uh, I do want to cut off some of these ties, if y'all don't mind waiting just a minute, and let me cut some of them off. Y'all, if you don't have a pair of these, they're not expensive at all. I call them my little snippers. They are awesome for cutting your, uh, your zip ties and your pipe cleaners. They really are perfect. They're perfect size. They do the job. They get cut close. So they really work out well. Okay, it's hard to even find the white zip ties with this uh, snowball mesh. Huh. They kind of blend in. Okay. Oh, y'all, I love this tubing. Okay, do. Now, what I am going to do is I will go in, and I have some um, some cute little uh, little glitter uh, balls I'll put just to kind of cover this here and come in and cover up the center of where these zipped uh, these pipe cleaners are. Yes. And then you won't even see them. Okay. And I'll give it a little color, a little more pop and pizzazz. Alright, let me make sure I cut this one here and this one here. Nope, I missed this one. Okay. There you go. Now, you don't have to cut them. You can go in and you can curl them if you want. But I like to curl them, and I'm going to finish it off with some little balls. Okay, now, here's my bow. Let me go ahead, and I'll put my bow on for y'all. And I know, before I even do anything, I can tell you, right now, I'm not going to even fight with it, because I didn't realize this is going to be a pretty thick... Um, are going to be a pretty thick wreath, y'all. All righty. Let's go ahead. I do want to show some of y'all. I don't know if y'all are aware of when you do a wreath on how you handle uh, a a bow with a pattern. So I'm going to do one sort of by hand and show you real quick so that you know how to keep the pattern 
in the right direction because you don't want like his like right here you don't want one ear coming down here and if you twist it what's going to happen you're not going to get the ribbons going the same way and I'll show you real quick but let's go ahead and let's put this on like so and I made the tails up uh, nice and long for this Okay, got it through mesh and let me come around and pick it up and bring it through here okay okie doke All right, let's see what we have here. Through. All right, like so. You want to kind of bring your fingers through and curl it like so. That's why you never use, you always want to use wired ribbon because that raw wired ribbon. Now I preferably, this, these are, here y'all, these are basically, lin, I prefer the linen ribbons. Those are my favorite ribbons. Now the polyester does okay. Uh, this is a poly. Uh, satin ribbons aren't always my favorite. Um, this. Alright, I am going to bring y'all up so that you can kind of see what she looks like or he looks like. Whatever you want to. I guess it's a he because he's got a top hat. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, y'all. I'm going to flip you around. Alrighty. You see me? Ta-da! Okay, here you go. There you go. I think he came out adorable. He's pretty big. If I put him next to me, as you can see, uh, he's pretty big. Whoops, where is he? There you go. Let me come on back. Y'all, it's hard to figure out where you are with this camera. Okay, there you go. Alrighty. Now, we do want to show y'all, like I promised you, when you do a bow real quick, I don't want to keep y'all long. Let me bring you back down real quick so that you can see. When you do a bow like this, you're going to have to do it by hand. Notice the rabbit ears, what you're going to do is you're going to take the bow in between your two fingers like this and you're going to come like this and grab it like this. Then you're going to go under and you're going to grab it like this and then you're going to come back around and do it like that. And notice when you do it like that, notice all your ribbons notice the rabbit ears are all in the same direction and all you're going to do is pinch it okay and then add it to your other bows when you do it other ribbons but you can't do it to where you go in and do it like on an easy bow or pro bow by the hand because you can't twist it and the reason you can is because then it will be sending all the rabbit ears in different directions and you don't want to do that. But tonight I'd like to thank all of you for joining me. I appreciate your time. And I thank you so much. And I thank you for coming on. My new time is 7 p.m. on Mondays, Central Standard Time. If you would, please like and share. And I'd like to say thank you. God bless. Y'all keep warm. Take care. Bye-bye.